Everyday Heroes is sponsored by Joy Law Firm and Preferred Home Services. Three years ago in 2020, there were nearly 6,200 veteran suicides, down from its peak in 2018, but still, that is 6,200 too many for one low country veteran who is very proud and dedicated to helping his brothers in need. These are emotional stories. These, these are hard stories to tell. But Dan Gaeta is more than willing to share these stories if it helps save lives. Changed my life, changed my trajectory. Gaeta, a Marine Corps veteran, proud of the time he served his country from 92 to 2000, but it's what he's done since then that has helped thousands of veterans. It was in 2012 when Gaeta was surprised and saddened to see 22 veterans were committing suicide every day. We started wondering, what, what can we do for our veterans? Why are they killing themselves? As the saying goes, if you identify a problem, you better have a solution. And it was shortly after that, Gaeta founded Operation Vet Fit with one goal. With the purpose of stopping veteran suicide by providing free mental health services, camaraderie-based events, advocacy, and connecting veterans with the available resources that are out there. And as another saying goes, so far, so good. All this time we we're creating this and building this, we really didn't know how, how, how this was going to evolve. And, and boy, has it evolved in 12 years. We're the only agency now in the country without a single veteran suicide. That's right. In over 10 years, not a single suicide under his watch. Gaeta says he's helped over 12,000 veterans, three times as many family members, all this without a single paid employee. And he's learned so much along the way, saying the highest suicide rates among veterans are the ones not honorably discharged, who have lost everything. They've lost their brotherhood. They've lost their camaraderie. They've lost their, their, their social sphere. They're ashamed. Okay. Now they don't have access to medical service-connected disability benefits, education benefits. Do you understand how the vortex can kind of spiral inward to social isol isol isolation, economic disparity, lack of purpose, suicide? Coming back to nothing. Coming back to nothing and then having no access to anything. Gaeta doesn't take credit for all of his success, saying it's a collaboration of several agencies and hundreds of veterans looking out for one another. My goal here isn't, isn't riches and success in the form of materiality. It's the form of reestablishing my own sense of purpose, showing my children what it looks like to have a fulfilled sense of purpose, doing things for others outside, above, and greater than yourself. Saying this isn't a magic trick or really that complicated, Gaeta says the key to saving veterans' lives, pulling them out of that dark place, can be as simple as a phone call, a so-called net to catch their friend and help, letting that person feel that you believe in them. When they rise out of that darkness and all of a sudden they get a taste of purpose or they get a taste of that camaraderie that they were missing, the, the, there's a light that comes on inside them and it reignites their sense of, of everything. Uh, it takes them out of that hole that they had slipped into in isolation because they no longer feel like they have a connection with the community around them. But sometimes that person who's, who's re really in a dark place just needs to feel one person believes in them. Just one. And coming up next February, VetFit's fifth annual golf tournament. It's at Charleston National, where all veterans play, eat, and drink for free. You can go to operationvetfit.org for more information. If you have an everyday hero, go to our website, countonto.com. Hit the Everyday Heroes link or email me at bclark at wcbd.com.